when you realize you have filmed the intro and you forgot to switch the mic on <clears throat> that is me hi guys welcome back if you're new here hi this is Mehrun and today I have created this look right here for you all so this is very how do I describe this like I got inspired when I got this palette in hand this is what it is this is the gorgeous Natasha Denona gold palette I'm really sorry about the grabby packaging because I used it today and these eyeshadows they are like dream okay they blend like a dream they, the consistency is like to die for all right so maybe during these holidays if you are if you guys are thinking like you want to give someone something really special who loves makeup look this way um yeah guys so i really hope you guys enjoyed this colorful holiday kind of look and what else was i supposed to say yes if you really like spending time with me and generally my work let's be friends on instagram i'm gonna pop on the instagram handle on the screen right here as well do not forget to hit that subscribe button it's down there um what else was i supposed to say i can't remember anywho take care stay blessed happy holidays Mwah. ciao hey guys so i am starting off as usual with taking my putting my hair away from my face so that i do not get any makeup on my hair and i started off by applying this under eye patches underneath my eyes so these help with puffiness wrinkles and things like that and first things first i always start my makeup by applying a primer so primer helps to counteract the skin conditions that you're facing on that particular day so here i am mixing in two primers which is one is like illuminating and this one is like smoothing and like it creates a really silky canvas and after this i wait for five minutes then i move on to the face makeup so first i am here counteracting like the skin concerns that i have which is like these grayish marks that i have on my face so i have used a peachy color corrector to combat that grayish areas on my face before i move on with my foundation so for my foundation i have used a concoction of two foundations and an illuminator and mix them at the back of my hand and apply it like section by section because these foundations they tend to set pretty fast so it's better to work section by section otherwise it will become really difficult to blend it in so here you can see the finish of the foundation on my face i really really like the finish of this foundation moving on to concealer i quite like this concealer this not only hides the under eye darkness underneath uh, it also illuminates the areas which I want to highlight. Applying it with a damp sponge. If you have a dry skin, never use brushes to apply your face products that might aggravate the skin concerns. For cream contouring, I am using this Matchsticks by Fenty Beauty. They actually blend in so well and the color is perfect for this medium tan skin tones. I really really like it. And one more thing that I wanted to tell you guys is like just do not follow whatever I am doing. Please know your face shape and accordingly do the contouring. So what contouring does is it creates that shade on your face. So it will be different from my face to your face because everybody's skin, not skin, face type is different. All right. After that, I am locking everything on my face using this Urban Decay All, no, not All, all Nighter. This is a chill makeup setting spray. So this hydrates and locks everything in, like all the cream products. After that, I filled in my brows off camera. Here I'm just setting them in place with this Benefit 3D brow product. 
and after that before you set your face you should make sure like there is no creasing whatsoever on your face otherwise when you set them with powder you will just be setting all those wrinkles along with that powder so here I have used like two powders one to set my under eyes and another to set the rest of my face so to set the rest of my face I have used an Urban Decay powder it's a loose powder and I flipping love this powder but Urban Decay has discontinued this powder why Urban Decay why just look at my skin this is like you have put a filter on your face I really really like this powder and after this wherever we have used that cream contouring stick I'm going over with this bronzing powder this is from benefit it's called hula this is that perfect warmth not too muddy not too orangey it's that perfect shade and after that I will move on to highlighting before I put on my blush so what highlighting does is it catches the lights on the highest points of your face and makes them look gorgeous and like glowy in pictures and in person as well usual places cupid's bow top of my nose bridge of my nose so that it creates that elongated nose effect you guys know i do not do the nose contouring thing so these are my small tricks to make it look elongated blush I have kept it pretty neutral and I really really like this blush by Zoeva and these might look like a lot of steps but all comes together at the end so here I'm using a sculpting powder by Kevin O'Quan this will add a little bit more depth and hollow at the underneath my cheekbones and to blend that in I will use my all-time favorite hourglass ambient lighting bronzer so that it ties everything so beautifully and adds a beautiful sheen onto my face then if you happen to like go a bit messy which I always do you can just take the sponge that you use to apply your base products and clean it up and then set everything like all those powders with by spraying that Urban Decay All Nighter spray one more time and while our skin is still damp I will just apply a little bit more highlight on the top of my cheekbones prepping my eyelids for eyeshadow by using this MAC paint pot eye primers I think are really important because they not only create a perfect canvas for your eyeshadow but they do not allow any eyeshadow creasing as well just look at this eyeshadow palette guys isn't it gorgeous like ah oh my goodness just look at it so here is my failed attempt to show you guys the shade range because the lighting washed it out but all the shades in here are so unique like I do not have anything else in my stash like this so I'm setting that eye primer with a translucent powder and starting off by building my crease shade here I'm taking my time and building that crease shade until I'm happy with it going over a mustardy yellowish color just to warm up the crease a little bit more these eyeshadows blend in like butter you guys and just look at that pigmentation I'm like what so here I started off by applying it at the outer corner of my eyes this color but then I switched my brush and applied it all over my lid because I loved the color so much so here I'm not blending the color I'm just packing on the color like really pack it on and I will blend it in later and create that shape which I want my smoky eye to look like take your time doing this after that right above that 
harsh line that we have created and below that crease shade I am going in with a deeper shade of brown and blending it all together so that there is no harsh edges. A good smoky eye is all about blending. So you want to have that intensity on your eyelid but it should all be blended together really well from the inner corner to the outer corner. I always take my time doing blending and come back and forth with the shades. Here I am highlighting underneath my brows with this sparkly white color and on top I added this top coat and just look at the glisten on my eyelid guys like amazing isn't it? So I've applied it with my fingers as it's a glittery top coat eyeshadow and I've applied it right on top of that teal green shade. And after this, I will go over with the edges one more time. Before I apply my falses. And today was the first time I have applied my falses on camera, guys. And thank God it cooperated with me really well. So what I do is I hold one corner of my lash band with a tweezer and another corner with my fingers place them right on top of my natural lashes and then pinch the corners with my fingers so that it's as close to my natural lashes. I know it looks a bit creepy but it works. Here I'm tidelining with a black eye pencil and on my waterline I will use a bronzy goldy eye pencil so that it opens up our eyes a bit more because our top there is a lot of going on our top lid and I have used this gold greenish eyeshadow which is like amazingly beautiful and I think it went well with this green shades that I put on top of my lid and because I kept, because I wanted to keep my eyes pretty neutral yet smoky, so this golden shadow on our bottom lash line allows our eyes to look like more wearable. You know what I mean? And blending all the shade underneath the lower lash line is using that Dijon mustard color, highlighting the inner corners, opens up your eyes beautifully. And I will, oh, here I am applying a very thin line just at the top of that lash band so that you cannot see the lash glue. And I wanted to add this chroma crystal top coat just in the middle of my eyelids so that it tied well together with that gold shades that we have put underneath our lower lash line. Finishing off our eyes with a good layer of mascara on top and bottom lash line moving on to lips I wanted to creep creep I wanted to keep my lips pretty neutral and you guys know how I love <laughs> mixing in lipstick so first I've layered this trendsetter by Huda Beauty and then I have applied this new invention of mine I mean just look at this lipstick guys I am in love with this concoction and on top I am using this Tatcha Luminous Silk Skin Mist just to add that additional glow because outside it's like so cold but this keeps my makeup looking glowy and amazing throughout the night. It's like I've just applied it. So there is the final look you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed spending time with me today. Until next time, love you, bye.